Hi, I'm Anne of All Trades, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make bamboo tomato cages. This one's quite an adventure, stay tuned. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Here in my neighbor's bamboo forest, they planted this as a privacy fence and as you can see it's gotten a little out of control so I can do them a favor cleaning it up but also do myself a favor by getting some free building materials. One thing about cutting bamboo is that as it dries out it gets very very hard so when you're harvesting it you want to cut it as low to the ground as possible and also as flush as possible so that you're not leaving jagged edges <laughs> that are going to cause problems later on uh, with, as you're harvesting it. I have my Sawzall queued up here with a metal cutting blade. Metal cutting blades are great for this because they have very few teeth. Normally when I'm cutting wood, I would use a pruning blade, but because a pruning blade would shatter the bamboo, this is the better choice. For this project, I need about 15 to 20 pieces. Hopefully I didn't miscalculate, but I also want them to be fairly uniform in size. So about an inch, slightly out of or slightly under is okay, but it's gonna go together and look a whole lot better the more uniform they are. All right, this is why I have a farm truck. Just put these right up here. Little drag, little drag, it'll be all right. This'll be great. So we're gonna just try to get these uniformly forward, but not so far forward that I uh, catapult myself if I hit a bump. I'm going to dream of being Inspector Gadget in this situation. Oh yes. Got it. One last thing, just uh, ratchet her down. My work here is done. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, we miraculously made it in one piece. Let's, uh, ironically, I think taking them off will be easier than putting them on. Also, I would like you to be aware of this beautiful hitch I have since put on my golf cart. If you haven't already seen my golf cart video, go check that out. But this is a, a later edition that has made this little baby so much more helpful. Case in point. Hello, howdy boy. Are you, would you like, eat some bamboo. I don't know if you have ever had bamboo before. Timber! Well, actually, bamboo! Oh, I'm sorry, babies. Oh. All right, now that we've got this safely back here, it is time to remove some of the branches, get this all cleaned up, and ready to make some tomato cages. As we're cutting the branches off of these, uh, some of them you can just take with a knife, but I've found that the hatchet is a little bit more efficient and better on my hands. But we wanna go with the grain of the bamboo. You notice it gets bigger at the bottom down there, gets smaller at the top. That means that the grain wants to go this way. So I'm gonna start my cut right beneath the node here and just go get those little pieces right off so that they don't leave sharp edges for us as we're working with the bamboo. And then when you get to the end of your bamboo, it's one swift chop to cut the end. To make the outside of our tomato structure, we need several pieces that are about five feet long. So use an and for scale. So we've got our five foot vertical pieces here. We've got roughly three foot horizontal pieces that'll cover the beds. I wanna be really careful not to um, make these too long because my pathways are quite small. So we don't wanna make that pathway unpassable. Then we'll need uh, two long pieces to span the length of the bed. Let's do this. So first things first, we need to install our vertical pieces. And I have this handy dandy little digging tool right here to make space for it. And use everything that you've got to get it stuck. But once it's down in there, it really doesn't matter because once we've got everything all attached, they're gonna be really sturdy regardless. You wanna put your verticals in in such a way that there's a little bit of the horizontals sticking out on either side because those are gonna be the braces where we put the cross pieces that, you know, 
kind of hold the whole thing together. To attach the horizontals to the verticals, we are going to use a Japanese lashing method, which is slightly easier than traditional lashing methods. But we're using cotton string here. You can use jute, hemp, whatever you've got around. But the crazy thing about this is how insanely strong this joint is once it's put together. And again, once there's multiple joints like this along the whole system, it's going to be very, very strong. I'm gonna use a story stick to make sure that I put all of these at the same heights because otherwise it's gonna look really uh, not great when I'm done. Put these sticking out ever so slightly so that they have space for the next rung of the ladder to go on. Clamp this guy on here. Check my height on this side as well. These are kind of arbitrary heights. I was looking at the height of my tomato plants right now and I just decided I needed that bottom branch to be on here for support and then I needed the, you know, the top one to be there for support when we need it. I will say too that we're only going to put two rungs on right now and then as the tomato plants get taller we'll keep adding more rungs. Once I've got these at the height that I want them, I cut an arm length of string. I divide it in half. And then when I'm ready to go, I'll take off this first clamp. So to start it out, we split our string in half. We wrap it around. Then we cross over the top on the inside. Then we go around the back. And as every wrap that we do, we want to pull it very, very tight. Now we go across the top and down and behind and up and across the back. Then you split them and then you go in one behind, one in front, and that will make an X appear right there. And then it, we do a frapping turn. So underneath we twist there, then we go around, pull it very tight. And this will cinch all of the lashing together. We just cross above and below, constantly tightening. And after you've done like three, then you wanna tie a double square knot. So first we go around and that you want to make sure that all of this is really really tight because otherwise it will introduce a lot of slack. There you go. Now that is insanely tight. Now we've got the row set, it is time to add the runners. So we're going to pick these up out of the pathways and use a very similar lashing process to attach them to both of these. Once this is all locked in, it will be extremely strong. If you look at the end of bamboo, you'll see at these nodes, there's actually something in the way there. We want to be able to capture a smaller piece of bamboo inside a larger piece. So we're gonna poke out those nodes with a piece of rebar. So now you don't see it. Hold please. Now, you see my teepees? If you get sick of lashing or you just wanna make it easier to start, you can also actually use zip ties to make this whole thing happen as well. Oop. not nearly as aesthetically pleasing, but sure gets the job done. When you get to the end of a pole and you're not to the end of your run, you can actually stick the next pole in. However, you just need to get rid of the little dividers that are in the node. So I'm gonna cut this off right behind the node. Then I'm gonna use a piece of rebar to poke in and I'll be able to stick this thing in pretty far. And because it's got these serrated edges, it'll kind of wear that out inside. Now I can take the next section, actually just stick it right in. And this is gonna make even this much, much stronger as well. Now that's gonna be insanely tight. Like 
When I'm creating these videos, I like to create extra educational content to augment whatever I display in the video. Like for this video, I made a in-depth tutorial on how to do this Japanese lashing technique, and I was able to easily drag and drop that material onto my Squarespace website. I am not a web designer by any means, but Squarespace makes it so easy for me to maintain a beautiful, easy to navigate, easy to update website on their platform. I have been using Squarespace since 2012 when I started my business, and it has been an absolute game changer for me. If you're interested in starting a website of your own, go to squarespace.com. And if you're interested in supporting me a little extra as you do so, when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Anne of all trades for a 10% discount. And here it is, an insanely strong structure that with just a few pieces of string and zip ties is a free support system that will be reusable for many seasons to come in the garden. You can see more in-depth instruction on this project, many others, and get more behind the scenes footage as well as extra bloopers if you head on over to my Patreon page now. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos in other ways, there are links for my merchandise as well as links to my favorite clothes, tools, products, and many other things below. Cheers, I'll see you in the next video. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Ah! <laughs> Hold, please. I can bungee those together. Who put this here? Okay. All right, good. Also, I think that there's an actual physical law about using ratchet straps is that once you've got it strapped, you like there's no physical possible way to not say that's not going anywhere two hours later. Who the heck used this the last time? Probably They're you. fired. No. It's a honeybee. Why does he care so much? Please tell me it is a honeybee actually. And then once you get to the end where it's no longer that usable, you can just go ahead and make one swift cut. Okay, cool. <laughs> you can make one swift cut to get rid of it. Well, maybe more than one swift cut. All right, well, it only works when the camera's not on. Set a bee trap up there and didn't catch any. Like a swarm trap for honeybees, not like to kill bees, just to be clear. And of all trades is anti-bees. And then when you get to the end where it's not that usable, you should be able to take one swift cut to cut it off. Swift. <sighs> all right, cool. <laughs> also, I love that we're like in the middle of like the paradise with those birds. Whirp, 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 whirp. Okay, good. All right, good. To make the bamboo structures that are going to be the tomato cages, we need to cut a whole bunch of five foot long pieces. So, all right. Do you want to see that it's the same height as me? Oh my God, it's so creepy. <laughs> <laughs>